overloaded. We are back. We're back in the studio and we are back with something extra from our Mumba trip too. No, yes, Hafiz. yes. Let me just share our <laughs> moments before our official chat with this Arsenal legend, okay? We decided to go out from our hotel for supper. Mm. And when the lift door opens, oh my god, there he was, Robert Perez, standing in front of the door. It and we were like, fake. oh my god, oh my god, we need to take photos. Yeah. That was the only thing that I thought of. It was crazy, and then we bumped into him again after interviewing. With Freddie Lumberg, yes, yo. yes, yes, wow. yes. It is yes. And and Robert Pierce said good morning to me when I was uh, queuing up for my toasty. To guys. everyone, no, okay. but he said especially to me. Okay, oh, okay, everyone. okay, okay, okay. Let's not portray ourselves <laughs> uh, as a bunch of stalkers, okay? We are but, stalkers. But yes, yeah. Robert Pierce is coming up next. And of course, joining us today in the studio, 2011 Miss Universe Malaysia and yeah. Wango Ambassador Deborah Henry. Yeah. And also the main behind. the one go campaign, the man behind it, the AFC Director of Marketing and Social Responsibility, Stuart Ramalingo! Stuart! Where are you? So, are you going to do the catwalk? What goal no, is nutrition? Are you going to do that too? No, no, no. Yeah. 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 Anyway, guys, just, welcome just to the show. Just can't shake the beauty queen tag. <laughs> the tag. Because you're beautiful like that. Embrace it. Yeah. Yeah. So how, how did this happen from, uh, you know, beauty queen going into one goal, like a, you know, a program for kids and, of course, Business um, itself. Well, I've had, I've, I mean, I've been working with children, disadvantaged children for many years now. So I've been working with World Vision, which is a humanitarian mm -hmm. organization, mm -hmm. a global organization. So mm -hmm. it seemed quite, I don't know, natural that uh, when this One Goal campaign was, uh, was launched that I would get involved and get involved. And I do champion a lot of children's rights causes, mm. um, their access to education, the right to play, mm -hmm. um, the whole spectrum of, of uh, the rights of a child. So... Mm -hmm. Sort of a fitting campaign. Okay, before yeah. we go further into that, well, what is One Goal? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Stuart, maybe you can tell us. Okay, One Goal is built on three main pillars, which is, especially in Malaysia, eat, play and live, right? So the eat pillar is based on the, the improvement of child nutrition, especially. Mm -hmm. uh, Malaysia being the most obese country in Asia. <gasps> we are! I'm sorry! Oh, I'm sorry! If you notice, the ladies are very slim. <laughs> <laughs> because we eat Just their saying. food. We finish <laughs> their food. That's the problem. The pillar of play is about an active lifestyle to get into sports. Mm -hmm. And the pillar of uh, live is actually healthy lifestyle choices. Making the right choices. Because I got two out of three. La. <laughs> yeah, eat and play. <laughs> Leave that no. Your eat is different, you know. Oh, you don't eat a lot. <laughs> you eat too much. Susa, okay. susa. But uh, you, I see that in the order. Eat, play, live, uh, right. Eat first. So yes. you guys champion eating nutrition priority, right? Yeah. Yes, definitely. I think it's the fundamental uh, part of all individuals. And if you don't eat right, whether you play right or you live right, mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. just there's no balance to it. Yeah. And that's yeah. why actually it's not just the nutrition campaign, it's a lifestyle choice campaign. Mm. It's not about a five-year-old kid, but it's about the adult that puts the food on the table for the five-year-old kid oh. as well. So mm. it's a it's a over-encompassing yeah. uh, campaign. I think okay. it's a really, it's a very interconnected issue. You can't separate one from the other. And, you know, you look at kids. I, mean, I run a non-profit uh, refugee school and we have kids come to school and if they're not getting the right food at home, they're going to fall asleep at the desk. They're mm -hmm. not going to be focused, True. concentration, productivity <laughs> levels. So it's a yeah. whole spectrum. I and, agree. Then, okay. and they can't focus and they can't study, but also you're not going to have the energy to play and, uh, and, and, and to really excel at something. So yeah. you can't grow strong individuals. We heard that you kind of don't like Nasi Lemak. Yeah, the first time. When Deborah came into the makeup room, when she came into the makeup room just now, she was like, yeah, you guys better not have Nasi Lemak for breakfast. But we love Nasi Lemak, though. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, it's, well, you know, well, you're a football show, right? So you talk about footballers and, yeah, it's cool to eat. I mean, we all love nasi lemak, but is it the most healthy of dishes? Hmm. So, so, something so, to think about. Yeah. Yeah. So, I try not to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't think. I just eat, I don't think. Uh. <laughs> but, I mean, why why football? I mean, of course, this campaign is a lot about football. and But why why that sport, though, sport? It, it started off at the AFC uh, before I left, and hmm. the main uh, reason for football is because it's the biggest vehicle for a campaign like oh, this yeah, to be coming together. So it's, it's not sport, just yeah. football, it's yeah. overall sports, but because football is an easy campaign to get out to the masses. Yeah. So that's why really yeah. on the back of football, right. uh, not not really specifically that it's a football-orientated sport, uh -huh. but 
again, like you see, the performance of Asian teams at World Cups and mm -hmm. so on. When you go down to the technical matter of sport, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, nutrition is a big part of why yeah. we are what what we are mm -hmm. in on the football field. <laughs> yes. True, true, true. So, okay, so we know about food. the campaign, but what sort of activities are you running, and how can people actually get involved? Oh yeah. Okay, it's it's a startup. So th yeah. that's one thing. We we just kicked off Malaysia in September, so yeah. it's 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 still moving into the startup phase. We really have one event that takes us on uh, into 2015 where we really launch uh, One Gold Malaysia, which mm -hmm. is the I Eat I Am charity football match. Ooh. So, Ruben, you're a part of this. Yes, I heard about it. <laughs> but I'm curious, okay, throughout this entire campaign, now that you guys have, uh, you know, it's kicking off right now, has Deborah played any football? Ah. 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 Hey, you saw me on the pitch earlier. <laughs> on the pitch? Oh, yeah. Not kicking a ball. <laughs> with, with Nam holding a ball. She's trying to do some tricks. It didn't work no, no, out she's, well. she, she's beginning. She's beginning. We're All getting right. her some kit soon. And hopefully for the match, she'll be on the field doing her stunts. You know what? She should be a goalkeeper because she's super tall. Yeah. 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 And what? Because I can reach either oh, pole. Or yeah. yeah. a defender so that she can head in the balls, mm. you know, during the yeah. like, queen and with football skills. See? Okay, being, oh. being the ambassador for one goal, who's your favourite football team? Oh, gosh. Jing, jing, jing. Oh. Mm. Well, I used... I In the past, I used to be a Manu fan. What? In the past? Why? In the past? Why? In the past. Somehow, I feel scared saying these things. You get, you get attacked. You get attacked. But um, now I kind of not don't really support anyone. Why? Because of Manchester United, right? Yeah. Yeah. Such a bad experience, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Your, your turn. Favourite uh, team? Favourite team. Actually, I'm a Liverpool supporter, Yay! but I'm a football fan first. So... Oh, okay. um, you're you know, not supporting them because you're not that No, no, no. no. I, I, I stuck through them yeah. through the good and bad times. Uh -huh. uh, so, But I'm a football fan. I, I love the That's sport. That's awesome. Yeah, so, but, but I'm definitely a foot, uh, Liverpool supporter. But I, I think what we saw in the, in the video earlier, it's, you know, football is, it like like Stuart said, it's an amazing vehicle. If you look around the world, it's played in the Everywhere. poorest places, yeah. most is. remote places, but also mm. by the most privileged. And it's, and it's a huge sport. sport. Mm. And, uh, and you know, girls and boys alike, there is an affinity to get on a pitch, mm -hmm. kick a ball around and have fun. And playing does so much for a child. It develops... Oh, yeah. Teamwork, their teamwork. senses, character yeah. building. Um, it stimulates a lot of their uh, um, hormones as well. So it's it's such a it's a holistic total. Uh, At least you don't want to be a coach. <laughs> yeah. You're motivating me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we should get beauty pageants to be coaches. Yeah. 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 On that note, right? On that note.